in this exercise or lesson, I want to address word art. Um, it's been around for a while, but they've made it much, much better over the years. Here I have a title, an old school title, and um, this is an old document. I'm just going to turn my show hide on just to show you what we've got in here. So first of all, I've got a bunch of uh, line breaks here that I'm going to delete and just make this one big line. Now this is a bit of a big title. I'm not sure that I would use something this big. Word art is intended for just a few words. It's not meant for paragraph, text. So this title might be a little long for what we need. So I would probably just change this to that. And I just want to be able to use these words. So I'm just going to cut this temporarily. And I'm going to replace what we had here with, uh, with some word art. Maybe give us some room. Uh, I guess we don't have to do that. And I'm going to go to insert and I'm looking for word art. It's right here. And you can choose any of these predetermined styles and we'll be able to change them after. So I'm just going to click this one and then you move it around. Like it's like clip art, it's like a picture, whatever. So wherever you want it, you can, you can move it. And then it says insert text here. So I'm just going to select all of that and then I'm going to paste, right? And it's I'm going to come from here and I'm going to merge the formatting so that it looks like what I asked for, the style that I wanted. And now again, I can click, I can move it. So just for the sake of working here, I'm going to turn off my non-printing characters to see what this is going to look like. And you can make it bigger. And you'll notice that didn't change the size of the font. So I'm going to go here to my menu and here's where you can start uh, changing things. Um, the font size, however, I believe you need to manually select if you want to change the size and you can't change it from anywhere on this toolbar. I believe you need to go back here and change it from here if you wanted it to be bigger. And I'm going to make the box a little bigger so that this is a little bit bigger and I'm going to go back here and explore some of the tools that are available just for this. Now, you need to understand there are two things you can format. You can format the shape that we have here and you can size the shape, of course. Uh, so you can change the fill. So I'm just going to hover over a lot of these options so that you can see what they'll do. And then you can, you have all kinds of options as to what you can do with the fill. Just an incredible amount of options to choose from. Um, you can change the outline, the color of the outline, the weight, right? Uh, whether it's dashes or whatever. Um, and I believe you can change the shape of the outline. And I believe I would have needed some kind of a color for that to take effect. So with this selected, you have all these choices for the background, uh, you've got some predetermined things here as well, some preset things. So that's just the outline of it. I'm going to undo and just go back to just regular text. And you've got all these word art styles to choose from. So if you don't like the one you picked, you can change. All right, I'm going to stick with that one and then bring you to some other choices. So now we get into colors. Okay, so you can change the color if you didn't quite like the color. Here, the outline of the color, if you wanted the color to have a bit of an outline and a thick, thicker outline, if you want to change the weight of the outline. Um, here's where it gets really interesting, though. Now we get into different effects for the actual text. Uh, I'm just going to hover over them so you can see the possibilities. So many possibilities here, all right, to make this look fantastic you see the perspective there it's got a little shading in the background that looks really kind of photoshop ish and then you got reflection options which also look very very good so many many options you have glows different glows for your word art bevels now these are subtle changes, of course, but they are changing. 
3D rotations, I don't find many of these look good. I find them to be a little tacky. However, you might find something subtle that you really like. That isn't quite so bad. That's all right. So depending what you're looking for, and then you've got some transformation. Again, if I had too many words, this wouldn't look good at all. But because I don't, that looks pretty good there. That doesn't look bad. Some of these are a little crazy, but some of them end up doing a really good job. Something like that, right? And if you don't like that, you can come back and then look for other transformations that you can use. So many, many choices here that just didn't exist before that you can apply to your word art. Just keep in mind that the fewer words you have, the better it's going to look. I love word art when it comes to titles for something, all right? Word art uh, for titles. And if you want more text like this, you can use the text box. The other thing I like about word art, of course, is that you can move it around. You can rotate it if you wanted to. Change the size, change the shape, outline, right? So it uh, can be copied and pasted from Word into PowerPoint. Very, very useful stuff. And I believe word art exists in uh, not only Word, but in Excel and in PowerPoint.